Welcome to the 12th episode of Jarred, um, which is also our season finale. Hopefully not series, but I guess we'll, we'll see we'll about that. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so on our season finale today, we finally wel- welcome Ryan back after being MIA for 42 Woo. weeks exactly. Did you say you're 42? We, we, 42? <laughs> 42? 42 weeks? <laughs> we also have a discussion concerning the future of the series. Um, we're going to listen, or we're going to answer some listener submitted questions. And we've got one final Ryan goes back to school for the season. Because I desperately need it. Yes. So today we've got me, Ryan, and Dougie. Unfortunately, Vex couldn't be here because she has a hockey game, but I hope she, she wins. She's so very happy, but I miss her greatly. <laughs> so, um, how, is, how is everyone's week? Actually, I mean, Dougie, if you don't mind, we'll start with Ryan, because this man was in a whole other country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was fucking, I was in Lanzarote, because, oh my god, I just, it sucks to be back, um because the weather here is fucking atrocious but my you're just not figuring it out oh the, the second we the, during, the landing was enough <laughs> just as soon as we landed I saw we just hit a puddle immediately I was like ah oh, fuck um but honestly the holiday was amazing the country is fantastic well, it's an, the island is just fantastic you know um the heat was immense as you guys know <laughs> as to what's happened to me um, overall, the whole week's just been fucking incredible. Absolutely amazing. I'd do it all over again if I could. Nice, nice. Do you use a lot of sunscreen? On my top half, yeah. <laughs> um, as you guys know, as some of you may know from seeing on my Instagram, not so much on my lower half. Um, yeah, I, 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 I applied some. Um, but then we went out on a catamaran excursion for the day, so we went out to sea, uh, nice so we could go scuba diving and snorkeling and just, you know, party out on this boat or whatever. I dozed off for a couple of hours, and obviously the sun coming down, bouncing off the sea, coming back up, and, and roaming around and whatever, <clears throat> forgetting to reapply, and, uh, yeah, I wake up the next morning with severe heat stroke. Um, now my legs swell up twice their size. I blisters fall. I come home. I have second degree burns on my lower legs. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! And do you have to work tomorrow? No, they actually put me on the sick. I I was meant to go back to work tomorrow, um, but the doctor said, "Yeah, you're not fit for work." Um, so here's a sick note, and I'll review you later on in the week, and to see whether you're good to go back because. Because I had so much fluid in the bottom of my legs, I was I got edema. Oh. It, yeah, it was edema, and that was what caused them to be twice their size. I couldn't put my shoes on, and when I could get them on, after walking around for three, for oh, three or four hours in the intense heat that was over there, I couldn't get the fuckers off. Um, so it, yeah, it wasn't the best. It was incredibly hard to walk, and the heat stroke episode I had was very scary um, it's an experience that I don't want anybody to go through and I never want to go through it again myself so lesson learned fucking reapply sunscreen <laughs> man we, we can't take you British people nowhere no, dude uh, like nowhere sunny no, and that was like... what the doctor said to me he says are you, are you used to the sun and I just turned to him and says I'm British no of course I'm not used to the sun um, I says, I work in retail so I don't go outside. Then when I'm at home, I just don't venture out. I says, next thing you know, I'm in a country which is averages 30 degree heat a day. Of course I'm not used to it. Um, so yeah, he just kind of looked at me very disapprovedly. And especially because he was the skin doctor that I got to see. He was not too impressed of what I'd done to myself. But, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> lesson learned and all. <laughs> So I am currently I am oh currently God. sat here with my legs elevated higher than my torso. I will say that much. So recording's a bit awkward right now. <laughs> the crew meet cannot be somewhere tropical because I'm not gonna be embarrassed by you in that. Oh aspect. no, it can. I just gotta be covered up. Getting burned like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh 
my god. No, we'll mm. just go somewhere where it's snowing. <laughs> yeah. Then I'll just be complaining. Oh, I hate the cold. Then we yeah, can all freeze yeah, We'll just be complaining we're too fucking cold. <laughs> I hate the cold. Oh, then oh. we could have a nice roast. Yeah, I, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. <laughs> I hate the cold. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's gonna be one we're gonna put up put up for a group discussion. <laughs> I can't even survive in like sixty degree weather. Like I'm walking out the house with fucking booty shorts on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're real fucked up this morning, huh? <laughs> Man, yeah, fuck the cold. Anyway, Dougie, how was your week? Uh, same, same. Nothing exciting. Not as exciting as Ryan's anyway, that's for sure. So, hmm. Yeah. Just work, okay. Just work, yeah. Jess, how was your week? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. um... It was it was nothing it was nothing <coughs> special. Um, I, I don't have a house update at the moment, so stay tuned for next season <laughs> to find out what happens. Man, we gotta wait a whole fucking season break. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, we made it to the season finale. Yeah. We've produced an entire podcast season. Fuck. Like, I cannot believe that we're. Yeah, right how we... I didn't think we were going to make no, it for a while. We <laughs> <laughs> Just because of how much confidence we have in ourselves, eh? It's, uh, it's real touch and go there for a bit. That's what she said. <laughs> no, it's it's been like really stressful at times, though. Oh, gotcha. But like, it's like one of the more stressful but also rewarding things. Mm. I think. Well, we'll find out. But yeah, we made it. So now we get to take a little break. <laughs> yeah. If we, if the producers pick us up for another season, you know. <laughs> Who the fuck you. knows? <laughs> <laughs> um. So what? Like me and Vex talked about it last week, um, but I wanted to kind of get varying answers, I guess. So what? What do you guys hope for the future of the podcast? Is in where we want to, the end goal, where we want to be like with it, what? or where do we just see it going? Either. <laughs> True, a bit of a dumb question on my half, eh? <laughs> 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 I mean, obviously, I want to be doing more seasons, obviously. Um, if if the people like us, and if they like what we do... Um, and hopefully the feedback we'll get from season one will guide us in a way for what we can do in the future, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I hope it, you know, ends up leading us so we can actually actually meet up, you know? Um, yes. Actually be together, perhaps record a podcast in the same room. <laughs> It'd be pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> um, and not have all this ball egg of a setup. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of where I'd see it right now. Um obviously I have this whole aspiration in mind, like I said to you the other week over message Jess, but uh yeah, for the time being I think it's just seeing what the community wants us to what their feedback would be so we know where to take it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that's uh a popular opinion. Mm -hmm. Me and both, me and me and Bex both agreed that yeah, like being able to record in the same room together, maybe even like live stream, yeah, yeah. that would be like, yeah, I'll do some live streams as well. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty fucking sweet. Man, I just want to get some money from this thing to build a squad. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the ultimate goal oh, God, here. Yeah. yeah. One way. And Dougie, what what do you think? What are, what's your answer? I'm um, pretty much the same as everyone else. Oh, sorry, just. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it's what, um, just 
see where it takes us. Yeah, just it all comes back to what the listeners think and the feedback we get from them as to what direction it will go. Mm. I hope they enjoy it. I mean, I'm sure we all do. But, um, um, I, I hope they yeah. enjoy it too. But Depends if they can put it with a BS. <laughs> I feel like I'd like doing this even well, if I mean, we had literally zero listeners. It's just like, if nothing else, it's it's definitely a cool, fun project. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's gonna flop that hard. I mean, you mean the? Re- the I, no, well, God, I, mean, I hope they've, not. they've got an idea what we're like with all the snippets from the videos and whatnot. Yeah, from so. our compilation yeah. stuff like that, and you know, the response we had when we announced mm. the podcast was, you know. Were bigger than what I was expecting. I'll say that much. Um, yeah, yeah. Which gives me confidence enough to say itself that season one's going to be at least relatively, you know, popular. Is that the word um, I'm looking for? So it, it is kind of a case of playing it by here. But the ultimate goal is the fact that we can just, you know, yeah. be together, you know, streaming it or doing some live shows or maybe stuff like that. You know, actually have people. Like commenting on the stream so that we can respond to them there and then and stuff like that, really getting them involved a lot more into the show, I guess. Mm. This is it's it's also it's a good way to get everyone to hang out yeah. because I mean every every group, every friend group that games, like obviously they, they have those lapses where it's just like no one's really playing anything, so no one's getting mm. on, and like, you know, like the group seems kind of scattered, but with this being like organized and scheduled, it's like, okay, guys, we're doing the podcast this night, so be there. And then it's yeah. like, it's kind of like a forced hangout, but at the same time, but it's it, not. It makes me feel okay about the gaps in time that we aren't necessarily all hanging out twenty four seven. In a way, it's in a way, it's kind of like organizing. Like when I used to do the fucking GTA meetups, it's kind of doing the same thing, but better because mm-hmm. we're more behaved <laughs> to a certain degree. To and a certain like, degree. To, yeah, a, to yeah. a degree. <laughs> we're having more adult conversations. Yeah. yeah. Rather, yeah. Was, well, the again, first to a episode degree. Episode recording this was so. <laughs> it was so <laughs> surreal for me because we're talking like normal human beings and like not yelling or like screaming into the oh, mic. Oh, fucking Christ, yeah. <laughs> like it was so weird to just have a normal conversation, like no accents, no yeah, screaming, yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, no raging <laughs> for a game or whatever. No. It was, it was, it was absolutely bizarre yeah. to have real conversations for the first few episodes. I was just like. It, I'll admit, at the end of episode one, I was a bit like, holy crap, I've never actually sat for an hour and just talked to these guys, you know? <laughs> We've never just done yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, and then at the end of every episode, I I cut recording by, like, screaming straight into my mind. We go straight to, and we go straight to game and be some rage the fuck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. It's it's a nice way to organize hanging out. Yeah. Too. So, um, well, speaking on the topic of listeners, um, we're doing a segment today for listener Q and A. Um, me and Ryan both posted in our stories on Instagram over the last few days, um, asking people to submit any questions that they'd like to know about any of us. Um, related to pretty much whatever. So we are going to take some time to read off some of these questions and uh, we'll go around the table posing different, you know, our answers. So, um, Ryan, do you want to go ahead and start? Give one yeah, I'm just, I'm choosing which one um, I should go for. Um, let's go for... Okay, I'll go for I'll go for this one. This one is directed towards me. Um I'm just trying to think how I pronounce the username. Uh Gaboos, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I've just butchered that. <laughs> um but it's directed towards me <laughs> to me because of where I live. Uh for Ryan, are the beaches of England cold? 
Um, yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, extremely cold, especially this time of year. Just like the rest <laughs> of the year. <laughs> you'll get this is no exaggeration you'll get one day a year of where the beaches will be bearable with the heat uh, one day during the summer and you'll, that's, you'll find that's when everybody goes to the beach it's usually a bank holiday weekend everybody will go down to the beach and it's just a crap experience all around because it's just too crowded um, you can be lucky over the weekends it can be relatively okay um, and there's not even a lot you can do like, you've got your arcades, you've got your seaside entertainment, which is pretty fucking boring, if I'm honest. Um, especially down here. <laughs> like, Jess, I know your... Which beach is it you go to near you? Like, the like, two-hour driveway, or what's it called? Most recently, we went to Myrtle That's Beach. right, but you, and you have um, a lot more entertainment. We go to Carolina Beach a lot, too. And you've got a lot more. Like, I've seen the entertainment you have there, and it is way ten times better than what we have here. Um... Oh, and yeah. And your temperature's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, you absolutely need to come to a beach on the East Coast. E- or even West I've never been to the West Coast, but I've heard it's beautiful yeah. anyway. But, yeah. Um, it's like I am... The Outer Banks here are, like, some of the most well-known areas. And it's like I imagine the sea is more bearable to go into as well there, whereas here you don't even want to... Oh, absolutely. Here, you don't even want to put your foot in just to test it because you know straight off the bat is when you take your foot out, it's going to be a fucking ice block. Like you don't want to go in. Um, it's and it's on really really hot days. It's like the water is so nice. It's not even like really that cold. Yeah. You just go out there and just float, but I don't go that far in because sharks. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I was like just on my holiday. You know, I was. You know, I because it was thirty degrees like every day. I knew that water was going to be warm. Um, it was still a shock to the system because it was still was cooler than I was expecting. But it was just a case that you could just walk right out and float away, and it was so relaxing, so good uh, to actually just relax in the sea. To go for a little bit of a swim, a bit of a paddle, and you so all with this tropical fish and whatever. Whereas come back home, if you dare brave the water, a you can't see shit because it's so dark. And none of that, you're just surrounded by seaweed and crap, so <laughs> you don't even want to go in. <laughs> so, overall, England beaches are you're crap. You're deprived. <laughs> I, I almost want to buy you a plane ticket right now. I feel so bad do for it. you. I'll do it. I'm on sick. I'll come Probably over right now. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Yeah, with the condition your legs in, you probably wouldn't want to go. Th- that's true. Actually, I'd just sink. <laughs> it's too fucking heavy. Um, well, I'll go ahead and do my question. This one is from Carnival Mickey, and it's basic. It's it's for everyone. So, who's the most epic gamer out of everyone? Uh, okay, epic. Okay, we need to define epic. Like. Are we epic ironically or unironically? Uh, I think I'm taking it as epic is in the sense who's the best player. I'm th- I'm think uh, that in my in my right. mind that's what I'm thinking. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh. I'd have to say Jess. It's if what? It's a tough one for me. I'm torn between either. Depending on the game. Yeah, I'm torn between either mm. Jess or Sam. I really am. I'm torn between Luke and Sam. Okay, yeah, Luke has his aspects. Luke be pulling some crazy shit out of his ass. <laughs> Literally, and in game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a topic for a season two, let's say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what luck yeah. is. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah, between Sam and Jess. Yeah, I mean, Sam has his moments. Um where he can just go on a complete rage and you you can't stop the guy. Um, Either that or it's because I absolutely suck ass. And then Jess, you you go just Terminator Jess. I hear you. You know, there's just, there's (laughs) no... Yeah, once you start, you won't stop until that person is weeping in a corner or something like that. Um... When it comes to fights, anyway... What, really? Y'all are just saying that because I keep winning gang beasts. Exactly. No. <laughs> GDA. Yeah. Look at GDA. 
Yeah, like look the... at those games. You won't stop until they leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then again, like okay. there are certain times with stuff like that, like like I've noticed, uh, for example, Jesse, like you're good in the fighting scenarios, but then again, you're not. Like from what I've seen, racing isn't your thing. But when it comes to races, I sort of peak a little bit more. Whereas with the fighting side, I go in the opposite direction. I don't fucking get involved because I just lose all round, as you've guys witnessed many a time. <laughs> yeah. But. That's why they call me Terminator uh-huh. Jess, I guess. Yeah. 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 But I get what you're saying about Luke as well. Like, you're right, he does have some interesting t- tricks up his sleeves when it comes to combat or. If I know it is mainly combat when it comes to Luke thinking about it. Because other than that, he just he just sticks around, doesn't he? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. He's he just pulled off some stuff that I was like, I didn't even know that could be done. Like him and the oppressor thing, I can't fucking. But that deal. that is. I think that is his number one party trick, as it were. How he does that is beyond. I tried it a couple of times and I just cut my cars into the ground. Like this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how the fuck he does it. Yeah, for those listening, um, on GTA, the, the oppressor, Luke, is basically a free aim god with it, no matter where the person is. The Mark, like, he yeah. finds them no matter. The Mark 1 version, not the Mark 2. It's the. Yeah. He is fucking. He's a. The good yeah, one. The decent one. Um. Yeah, he's oh. good on that. But other than that, I think the rest of well, us are just pretty, pretty chill when it comes to gaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, um, next one. What's yeah? What's your next? Okay, mm-hmm. this goes out to everyone. It's from uh, K Kavak. I hope I pronounced that right again. Uh, what considers a remake better than the original film? Ooh. This is a good mm. one. What considers a remake better than the original film? I. Well, that comes down to personal preference, I reckon. Yeah, that's what. I mean. I think this is just. This is just meant to make us think. Moment of silence. Whilst we think, <laughs> I'm like, I'm blanking. <laughs> yeah, I'm gorming. Um. I mean, I'm trying to, th- I'm trying to think of an original film that's been remade, like where it has actually been better. Um, okay, I, I mean, ha- I can't think of any. Um, the few that I'm, I can think of, the remakes were shit, <laughs> and it's like, why did you even bother? Um, okay, I got one. The only, so, what we what we going to say oh. something then, Dougie? Okay. No, you go, you go. Um, one film. I think the most recent film I've seen be remade, um, different from the original, was Pet Cemetery. Um. Ooh. I haven't seen the new one. It is. I haven't seen. Either. I mean, I saw the original when I was when I was a teenager, and it freaked the fuck out of me. I love the original. It is, it is very good, yeah. but it just freaked the fuck out of me because I don't know what it is with vintage horror films, but they sort of know how to put the fear factor in you more than the the modern horror films. Um, like they have the thriller and the suspense more, whereas remaked horror films or at least modern horror films. I think they rely too much on jump scares and visual effects more than anything. But mm. Pet yeah. Cemetery the remake, I found to be a little. I, I did find the story because they slightly changed p- a part of it. I did find the story more gripping because they changed a slight detail, which sort of changed the whole overall feel at the end of the film. Um, and obviously you had more tools again with modern technology and everything to be able to make it more visually appealing 
Um, so I, I guess what would make it better than the original was the fact that the writers, as I guess overall, would have a huge impact on it. Um, but otherwise, because otherwise it can go really drastically wrong and horribly in the wrong direction. Like for example, I mean, look at Disney's Aladdin. Like I, I've never seen the classic original, but I've seen snippets, and obviously I know full damn well that you can't fault it. But the remake, I heard everybody. The only good thing about it was obviously Will Smith just carried the whole film, and I heard the rest of it was a flop. So. I don't know, it's a real tough one to answer. Um, I, I would say overall the writers is what makes the remake better because overall they're the ones that control it, I guess. Um, but it really is a toying cost, so whether it's going to be good or bad. I mean, what do you guys think? Yeah. I really, I really don't know of an answer. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I just what? don't know that you could ever compete with the original. Hmm. I mean, have any of you seen it? No. Doug, what about you? I'm, I'm pretty sure I have watched it, but it was a bloody long time ago. I haven't seen the new no. one. The reason I ask is because I've um, not. So I was hoping one of you two had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Um, I have heard a lot of good things about the new one. Yeah. Though. Um. But I know the original one. Yeah. Same again. It's Stephen King. It's, yeah, oh God, yeah, it is. That one, it? it's it's hard to go wrong doing a Stephen King movie, though. Even yeah. though you're doing remake, um, it's yeah. It all comes yeah it comes down to the writers and the director. Yeah. And how they portray it. Yeah. And. I think partly as well, I'm going to... Uh, sorry. Personal preference. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, personal preference. And I'm going to contradict myself here with what I said so. a minute ago. I suppose the visual aspects can swing either way. I think because obviously we have modern technology now, we can make them look better. Um, this goes out to any film. Yeah. yeah. You can make them look better. Um, ten times better obviously than what it was when the, when the original one first came out. But then again, you can also make them look really shite um, and really crap if you're not careful. Yeah, you can overdo yeah. it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, too much of that stuff like just deviates from the original. Too much. I mean, usually originals are like way back in the day. They didn't have the same technology that we do yeah. now. Like, perfect example. Have you guys seen the the new Halloween that came out last no. year? No. Okay, well, obviously the first one came out in, like, the fucking 70s. Yeah. It's, like, 40 years ago. But, like, I mean, they could only do so much. It wasn't... In my opinion, but I've seen a lot, it wasn't that gory. But, like, this newer one, while I liked it, I felt like it was using the visuals too much as a yeah. touch. Like, yeah. they, they were showing stuff that, you know, they wouldn't have shown in the one in the 70s it was just like is this necessary or is this just shock value yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I th to be fair, yeah. going off of that yeah. I found I find gore in classic horror films like from the 70s and the 80s better than some of the gore you see today because it makes you appreciate it more on, on how they would have been able to have done it and stuff like that and I find at certain times it looks more realistic I guess but that's just again. That's just me. That's just mm -hmm. my personal preference. I mean, you guys may think differently. Um, this is a real tough question to answer. The straight answer, anyway. Mm. I've I've been weighing on Evil Dead, but like like I said, I still believe nothing beats the original. I just think like graphic wise more than and anything quality in that wise. First one. <laughs> huh? I laughed more than anything in the first the one. first one was it was Original. terrible it was it was so cheesy and it was just like everything was obviously fake i mean i love bruce campbell but like that was a really really fucking cheesy movie like <laughs> but it's the original and yeah. it's it's what we love first so like the remake while it was good i don't 
I don't know if it was better than the movie, but like I said, visually, obviously. Acting wise, totally. But I just cannot complete the original. Mm-hmm. Um one movie comes to mind oh, it's probably not everyone's favourite and it's Total Recall. The original one, I did enjoy that with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The new one was a huge fail. Never seen them, so I wouldn't know. They had <laughs> Yeah, I've never actually watched the second one, but I know it yeah, it didn't do as good as the yeah. first one. Um and yeah I can't say what they did wrong cause, like I said I haven't seen it and I had no intention of seeing it because all the reviews I'd heard and um, it just didn't appeal to me to watch it but um, yeah that they had a lot more technology to do it and I think it comes down to their choice of actors as well yeah Yes, that that's a big po- big part of it. Massive part they've, of it. They've got to get the right people to do it, and especially when you consider who, like I mean, yeah, Arnold's was never the best for speaking roles, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's not just that one character, but it's it's everyone and. A lot of the times, that is the downfall. They just get the wrong people. Yeah, um, going going off that, um, I think I've mentioned this before, but for me, like I prefer the original Spider Man's with Tobey Maguire. It is Tobey Maguire, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I prefer. Even yeah. though it's worse. Yeah, but that's yeah again personal preference. So like Doki said, that's the thing. I prefer those ones rather than the new ones because I don't like the actor. but I seem to be the only one in that one because everybody else seems to think that the new ones are better than the other ones I still I still prefer the old ones because they're from my childhood and I I feel like if I prefer a new remake over my childhood original then it's like abandoning my childhood you're cheating on your childhood yeah Um, Andrew Garfield was not he was okay I you know for a a serious like a serious Spider-Man not like you know the (laughs) Toby But this, I don't even know what the new kid's name is, I so I haven't watched any of his movies. Um, um, one that Tom, is... I, Huh? Tom something? Tom... Oh. Holland. Tom Holland. That's it, that's okay. it, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean... I actually don't mind... Mo- I don't mind him. He was cute in the Avengers movies I watched, but... I'm not interested enough to watch his others his movies but I will tell you one that one that I feel like is a very close second with the original was the Beauty and the Beast like the first one came out when I was a kid that was like one of my top three that was probably my top favorite movie as a kid like very closely followed by Lion King which I have not seen Uh, yet the new one so that Um, one's that to me that's a bit different because you're going animated to uh, live that, action that didn't make it better live no no but that's to me that's not really a remake as such you mean like similarities not movement for movement right is that what you're getting at Kind of like Evil Dead, how different that was from the original, but it was still the same concept. Yeah, yeah. I I know what you mean, but like... You're referring an animated one to... An actual movie movie. I mean, yes, it was a movie, but it was an animated movie compared to a live movie, so to speak. Um, So... For me, that sort of it's a different ballpark. I suppose it's still a remake. Yeah. Um, Are you done roasting me now, Dougie? I'm not roasting you. I'm, <laughs> I'll just okay. I'll just. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop your ass later, dude. The fuck. 
I'm blushing right now. How's that so different ashamed. from any other day? <laughs> Just wait till we get on game. Get, 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 like. Moving on. <laughs> Next I apologize. question. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm doo doo. Shut up. Next question also <laughs> happens to be from K. Dot Car Carvac. Um, which point of view in gaming is better and why? Sorry, repeat that. I phased out. <laughs> Which point of oh, okay. view in gaming is better and why? I think it depends on the game. Yeah, yeah. That all comes down to the game. Hello? It, it just, for me, it varies. Is my audio still working? On, it's like, I prefer a game like, nope. you know, Call of Duty. I prefer, I prefer that to be... Uh-oh. Yeah, see, that type of game, it's first person. Um, I don't know what feels different about it, but... Yeah, I don't know, something like GTA, obviously I prefer third person, but... Yeah, see, if I'm doing a racing game, I prefer first person. Um, yeah. But... Other than that, like, yeah, Red Dead or GTA, it's third person. Yeah, I don't really think there's anyone that's better. It just, yeah, it definitely comes down to the person. Like, bro, if you feel weird playing third person, swap that shit to first. It's all good, dude. Like, um, um. So we will wait for Ryan to get back. <laughs> Finally. I didn't even realise he'd left. <laughs> well, Seriously? That's the first time that's happened. It, it happened, um... It happened with... Luke as well, I think. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we basically just hold off. Nothing can do. Is he gonna come back? <laughs> I'll set the invite. <sighs> Came on the radio at work the other day, and, I'm <laughs> and you knew all Monday. the words, didn't you? <laughs> Only the chorus. <laughs> You're like, hey, my dumbass friend taught me this song. I know this one. I'd never really paid much attention to it before until you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the radio version is edited, like they sort of... <coughs> I don't even know what it sounds like on the radio. Yeah, well, the, um... All you ladies the pussy... Your pussy like this. Shake your body, yeah, don't the stop, pussy don't bit kiss. is All you ladies quiet. Your pussy like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, on the radio version you don't hear the pussy. Are you ladies pop yo? Like this? Like this. What? <laughs> yep. that, what, are, <laughs> what are they so popping? What are uh, the ladies popping? So then it, it's blank. And then, then you get the my neck, my back, my and my crack. <laughs> I can't even believe that they would play that on the radio to begin with, let alone to have an edited version. Holy shit. <laughs> Tell me about it. 
It's like an Eminem song. Like everything has to be bleeped out. What's the point? Is Ryan abandoning us? I have abandonment issues. I'm getting paranoid. He's obviously having some major issues. What else is new? Finally. Ah. Oh. Whew. Okay. Is. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, temporarily lost my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. I shit myself. <laughs> Me and Dougie had a pretty interesting conversation in your absence. So I imagine so. It was like no time passed at all. Anyway, wait, 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 did, did you guys answer the question? Because I had a really good answer for it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Go so, right ahead. I'm two minds of which point of view to be using during a game. Overall, I'm third person all the way. Mm -hmm. in, in about 70% of the games I play. It depends on what I'm doing in the game though. For example, let's take GTA as an example because that's what we play the most. Um, but I think it's probably what majority of the community plays the most. Obviously, you're always in pretty much third person. Let's be honest. However, put me in a race and you'll find me in first person. Um, you put me in a shooter game like mo uh, Modern Warfare and obviously you're restricted to first person, you, you have no other alternative because it's how it works better um, so again, yeah, I think it just mainly depends on what I'm doing um, whereas Red Dead most recently, like I was playing it before we started the podcast, I was obviously in third person quite a lot but as soon as I was doing some of the bounty hunting, I was in first person because it makes it a lot easier so again, just depends on what I'm doing. What did you guys say? Obviously, because I was out. Same thing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Though it's weird um, for me, like any of my racing games that I do, I'm first person. Um, but with GTA, mm -hmm. when I'm racing in there, I'm still f I'm still on third person. Mm okay. It's mm. weird. That one for me just doesn't feel right with first person for some for some reason. I, I get what you mean. I, I, I think for me, it's what it depends on what track I'm on. I know that sounds daft, but if it's like if it's a track that I know well, like I'll go straight into first person. But otherwise, I'll go around like the first lap in third, and then I'll go into first because obviously I know the track. I know which corners I've got to do. I just feel like I can see my racing lines a lot better because I get very competitive when I'm in a race on GDA. In fact, any game when it's a race, I get extremely competitive. <laughs> Good to know. I'll definitely spin you Don't up Don't you next fucking time. dare, because I'll rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God. Like, when oh, we were doing no. those races last... When was it? Uh, last week or something? There was me, you, uh, Dougie, and Abdi, and like during the race, I just went silent because I was focusing, and then that one time that I did get spun out and that one car glitched, I raged so fucking hard. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I... You don't want to piss me off during a race. <laughs> I will. I know you fucking will. So... <laughs> <laughs> what is what is your next question okay this one is this one's going to be a bit of a bizarre one to answer but it, I think it's a, a good topic to be talking about at the moment um, but by the time that okay. this episode goes out it will be way out of date so it's kind of pointless but at the same time it's a topic to discuss for current time of recording uh, it comes from Life of Steve Gaming <laughs> do you think we'll get a Red Dead zombie update for Halloween considering all the green eyed corpses that are around the map personally yeah I think we will yeah. I know a lot of people are saying that it's a texture glitch and so on and so forth but explain the fact that it's only on certain models and not all of the dead NPCs why is it only on certain ones 
And why have some people well, encountered I mean, ones I'll... that have a little bit of life into them as well? Personally, I'm all in favour that yes, we'll get a zombie update for Halloween for Red Dead. In online, not story, because we know that they're not doing anything for story. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if if they're switching, if they're truly switching gears and trying to prioritize Red Dead over GTA now, going as far as changing, you know, like release dates and mm. stuff. I mean, if if Red Dead is overtaking GTA, then it'll definitely be because GTA has always gotten something around Halloween. Yeah. But if that's not the primary concern anymore, then yeah, I could definitely foresee them doing something on Red Dead for Halloween yeah. at least. And like, I'm mean, I'm huge on this topic right now because no, I don't think a lot of people remember this. But did any of you play the first Undead Nightmare from Red Dead Redemption? No. Yeah. You didn't play it, Jess. I'm not that big into zombie games, like. Last of Us, yeah. Oh, good. Left 4 Dead, yeah. But that's yeah, it. Fair enough. Well, Doug, you might remember. You remember the character Seth, right? <laughs> no, no. Not really. It's, <laughs> the, been, it's been a it long, a long time, time since I played the it. The very scrawny gravedigger guy. The crazy dude. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember a certain bit of diet. It's sad that I remember this, considering how fucking long ago the game came out. Uh, when John Marston went to go see him to see what was going on and everything, you know, he was all about, ah, oh, the dead have risen, this, that, and that. And apparently, he said, even though he's fucking crazy, it's not the first time it's happened. Something like that. Now, oh. one thing you got to remember is obviously the timelines are different with Red Dead. Obviously, Red Dead Redemption mm. 2 is the prequel to Red Dead and Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. So using that information and with what's going on in the online at the moment I'm more towards yes this may be probably one of the first occurrences with the undead in Red Dead Redemption and I don't know if you guys have heard this as well but some of the dialogue has changed with some of the NPCs around the map especially around the Armadillo area which is where most of the green eyed corpses are found so yeah, I'm definitely more towards yes, <laughs> this being a thing. But we'll find out, won't we? In a few weeks' time. Yeah. Very soon, And yeah. obviously yeah. we'll look like idiots when this podcast goes up, because obviously it would have been long gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's it's great to be, like, t- like, attached to a game, but not so committed to, like, with GTA, like, something that we play, like, every day. It can seem yeah. like... It takes literal years for update or like you know updates to come out. Mm. But with something like Red Dead, that I don't really, I don't, I'm not really that passionate about. But I'll still hop on from time mm. to time. It's like these next few weeks are gonna fly by. Like we'll see. see yeah. Enough. Yeah. I mean, what days is it? So, uh, yeah, I mean, we. You know, I'm way off my time scale here. Never mind. Um, Jess, you got another question? <laughs> Um, yes, um, I'm just, this, I feel, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read it off. I know we've been asked it before a lot. Oh, but, I think I know which one it is. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is from I Love Horses, and it is, um, when and how did all of us meet? Are we, wow. are we explaining this in detail, or are we just going for the one word answer? <laughs> Um, well, I, I guess, I mean, I guess they want more detail, because... Yeah. Mm. Okay. But... Well, I mean, in Red... I know mine with Dougie, like, yeah, I was gonna say because no I... problem, but I cannot really remember the exact time frame when I met you. So, obviously, I, could, I know what that's about, but I don't know how you, Dougie, and, like, Abdul got about and everything, but I know how, like... I come across you and then come across the other guys. So, do you want to explain your side first and I'll do mine? Or do you want me to go first? Well, 
I, me and Dougie at the time had a mutual friend and one of the first times I went to hang out with that mutual friend, like most of his crew was there, which is Dougie, Abdi, and a couple others. That was, that was two years ago, this past June, I think, or July, somewhere around there. Yeah, something like um, that. Yeah, me and... Me and Dougie just hit it off, bro. <laughs> I annoy the shit out of him, and he loves me, just like Abby. <laughs> <sighs> but with you, Ryan, I'm not so... Like, back, I feel like you followed me back when I had a roleplay page. Like, it was that I, long I ago. Think, and that's how I we met. I think it was. Um, I mean, regarding Sam and Luke, obviously, I met them... I met Sam first, um, because where my fiance was studying at university her and Sam were flatmates I met him through that way and then obviously he was best friends with Luke or still is and then I met Luke at one of the parties we went to so on and so forth so that's how we kind of all met obviously got each other's game with tag started going from there so it was us three hanging out but then when I made my Instagram account um, yeah I think I did follow you when you were a roleplay page um, something like that didn't really interact much because um, I was sort of new to the whole Instagram like deal and everything, and then I think yeah I think I don't know what when roughly you followed me about, but when you did I was pretty stoked. I was like, ah cool sweet, and then I don't I don't know how we even came across online because I don't remember adding your gamer tag or anything, but I remember I was on a session with Sam and Luke, and next thing you know you just showed up in your deluxe or something like that. And I hopped on in, and we just kind of went from there. You joined our party, and we just sort of hung out that one night doing yacht defenses and stuff like that. And it just kind of spiraled from there, I guess, didn't it? I thought I maybe I'm not recalling correctly. I thought we were chatting on Instagram about which car was faster to race. Yeah, and then, yeah, we were. And then we were like you know well let's find out who's right so the first time we ever hung out you and I raced from the docks all the way up to Polito and I won I whooped your ass yeah you whooped my ass <laughs> she, I don't think I don't even you, you were saying you were arguing that the Wagner yeah. was faster than the Pariah yeah but I had that du- I had that double clutch yeah, yeah I, I, you clutch. overtook me before we even left the city and I think we got, I, I think we got halfway you. down the west coast, north east, south coast. Yeah, down the west coast, and I think I just backed out. I was like, I ain't gonna fucking get this. I ain't <laughs> gonna clutch this back, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> just turned around and went the other direction. Like fuck that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember doing that. Yeah, because I got photos of it on the on my page and everything. Fuck. I thought you guys were the weirdest group I'd ever <laughs> met the first time we hung out. Like, Luke was so strange, and he had such a strange personality yeah. that for some reason I automatically assumed he was the character with the pink hair. Ah, uh, okay. Which is actually Sam's yeah. character. Like, Luke was just, he was such a colorful personality that I just, you know, I thought that that mm. was him. But. It wasn't. And then, like, we were doing the, the piracy preventions on the yacht. And you guys would just, like, flip friendly fire on and just Stop. start, like, Ble- blowing yeah. each other up and minigunning each other. And, like, I was just so not used to that way of playing. <laughs> like, we didn't start really doing all that, like, me, Dougie, and Abby, really until, like, you guys came along. And before that, it was, like, we didn't really go out of our ways to each other like that that much yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah we, we still did it a lot uh, quite a bit though we we fucked around a lot but like we also didn't um, yeah we guess, we do go to like, excess levels you guys it was just like constant like it doesn't matter what yeah. you're doing like you could be actually trying to do something important and luke's gonna like come along and bomb you from the going sky. on that subject i remember one time where in my mind Luke took it too far and then I realised I was the one that's actually overreacting <laughs> we were I was yeah. doing you know when um, gun uh, what was it gun smuggling no 
Ah, uh, what was the air update for GTA? I can't fucking remember. It was like Smuggler's that was Run. it. Um, just gonna show how bad it was. Um, I remember doing some of that, and it was taking me ages to fucking do. We would. It was just us three in the session, and I was raging so much about the mission because it was taking me so goddamn long. Finally, got hold of the car, go in the plane, and everything. Luke comes out of nowhere and blows me out of the sky, but he somehow manages to get the plane. <laughs> And I spawn on the side of a mountain, really fucking awkward. I couldn't get down properly, couldn't get the right pl uh, car or plane to get me back up to where I needed to be and everything. And he's flying off towards Fort San Kudo to claim it for himself to the extent I actually rage quit out of the fucking game. So he doesn't get it. To which he, he then turns around and says to me, Dude, I was actually going to land it outside so you could fucking take it. And ever since then, I feel like such a fucking idiot. So we are known for taking it too far. Um, so I get what you mean, how you wouldn't be used to that sort of shit. <laughs> well, Luke has... Luke has destroyed millions of dollars of Sam's oh, cargo. Uh, yeah, I think it's a... I don't remember what the exact number is. Sam knows the exact yeah. number, and he... He reminds him oh, often. Oh, constantly. But like, yeah, like, the crew that we mainly hung out with before that, it was like... Especially with the cargo stuff, like, we weren't going to fuck with each other mm. on that. Like, at all. No. Like, not not stuff like that. No, 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 no. And then we, like, start hanging out with you guys, and you guys are just like, whatever, yep. dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to toss a sticky on the side of your fucking UPS oh, van. Oh, God, yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> But what's funny is I actually I hate Ethel. I didn't hate her, but I really did not like Bex. No, you didn't at the time. Like, no, I remember when I first like joined you guys, she wasn't around, and I remember. I, I don't know how it came around, but I just remember hearing the name and slight conversations about it. But no, say more. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know what it was, honestly. I mean, looking back, it's like, it may have been that I felt like a mutual friend was, like, pushing her on me, like, trying to force us to be friends, and, like, I didn't really like that. But then when she, but So, like, I mean, you tell, you try to push me to do something, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. <laughs> like, you ain't gonna do it. <laughs> like, you're not gonna tell me what to do, or, like, how to feel, or, you know, like, so I think that just didn't really sit well with me, and I kind of projected that into her, even though it wasn't really her fault. But yeah, I don't know. But, that was like for months too. But Vex is a character. As soon as it's you get, as soon as you hang out with her for one night, <laughs> my God, you'll be in fucking stitches. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, f the first time I remember, she joined us. Um, I'm can't remember what we were doing but her and I ended up just fucking around with um, a cop car and something in the river we, we just kept smashing into each other and just completely fucking around we had a lot of fun and but yeah she she didn't talk a huge amount in those early stages yeah no, no definitely not no. to the level she does she now she was very no. shy on that side. Yeah. Yeah. She, now, she, yeah, she just had to get more comfortable to open up. Because she is a big mouth oh, now. Yet. <laughs> we both are. But yeah, she was, she was very, very, very quiet back then. I feel like yeah. That. But now you hear her join the party before know, she like, even does officially join. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, it, it seems like. It seemed like that person, like I said, was trying to force a friendship, but then, like, another friend kind of, like, vouched for her and was like, you know, you, like, you need to give her a chance. And it was someone whose opinion I valued a lot more, obviously. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, whatever. I saw her online one day and I was just like, you want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> Play GTA or something? And then we played, um,. Tar we we played like target assault all night that oh like adversary yeah. mode on GTA and we were like winning every fucking match <laughs> like
like we were like the dream team i was like oh my god like what have i been doing like being so stubborn about this girl like we're obviously a great team yeah and then yeah my own stupidity so overall is on that one yeah so we, long story short the internet's what brought us together <laughs> Video games, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, Instagram has been the big factor. Yeah, that was the m- biggest yes. part of. Yeah. I mean, if I had, I think if Instagram didn't exist, nope. none of us would have. Yeah. Would know each other. Yeah. If I hadn't made my nope. account, those three Brits, well, four if you include Henry, wouldn't have found you guys. You know, you two wouldn't have found each other to a certain degree, and. So on and so forth. So, yeah, it's going to be a huge part of it. You'll see. I like. I was yeah, hanging out with Abdi, and we had there was a few people we knew before Instagram, and um, yeah, some of them are oh, gone now. Audio is cut out again. No great loss. Um, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, the since the Instagram photography really took off, um, that just opened it up a lot more. But um, I'm quite happy with the group that I hang out with. Yeah, we'll always have a lot yeah. of fun. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ryan! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still appearing online, so maybe that's good. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I ate like three Oreos today. That's not a lot, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Three Oreos is gonna the, do bugger all. I was just on the go all day. Like I didn't like I didn't stop for anything. You need to eat. I know. I have food in the fridge. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh God, I'm still recording. <laughs> Oh, we're not editing that out. Great. <laughs> Great. Hey, you, you always had the cutest sneezes. Shut up, Dougie! <laughs> Ooh, I, have chocolate. Oh, I do too. Have you ever had those those chocolate covered marshmallows that usually come out of like Easter time. Uh, yeah. I think it's so. just chocolate covered marshmallow. Yeah. My in-laws went to the mountains in the last few weeks, and they brought us back some chocolate that had like a cream in the center that was similar to that marshmallow taste. So it just tastes like chocolate covered marshmallow bars. Yep. Anyway, Ryan's I'm, back. I'm back. So, <laughs> where were we? Doug, you said Instagram ties it all together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, especially with us playing mainly games like GTA, if if not GTA, a lot of these games, I've come to find, like, the public lobbies are regional. Yeah. Like, very much so. Especially GTA. Like, I've played with... I've played with Brazilian people in the past, and whenever I join on their lobby, like you can tell from like the names on the list that it's a lot of Brazilian mm. people. Or you know, like yeah. I've noticed that when I join, like especially you, Dougie, like when I joined your lobbies before, like I would I wouldn't be in party yet or something, and I could hear the game chat, and it was people with Australian accent, so. But yeah, like that instant without Instagram we'd be fucked. Yeah, there'd be no us. 
Instagram is listening right now, and they're going to close down the app after hearing this. <laughs> Look what we created. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What have we done? <laughs> We're not legally liable for this. <laughs> oh, my God. Instagram, we love you. Um, Ryan, did you have any other I questions? got one last one. Yep. Um, okay. It's from a tasty Timbit. Uh, you guys ever thinking of playing on PC, or does this man's have to grab a copy of GDA for PS4? <laughs> uh, okay, let me take uh, this go one. Go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna answer the second question first. I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try not to sound me, but you know, I have one of those voices. Um. <laughs> We're not exactly welcoming. Jess, I, you might want me to stop you. This is my childhood best friend. I grew up with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, like you literally, could, how am I supposed to know who that is based on the user? Like you, come on. No. I'm sitting here. I'm about to be like, yo, listen the fuck up. We don't take in randoms. Go find no, another. No, I wanted to shelter. just. I just knew you were gonna work yourself up for that big speech. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, fuck me. I know, right? <laughs> no, th- this guy, like I said, I I grew up with this guy. He emigrated to Canada about ten years ago, something like that. Um, and I've I've seen the guy like two years ago when he came back to the UK briefly. Um, but yeah, dude, you're gonna have to get a copy of GDA for the PS4 because I don't think any of us. Uh, I mean. I, I don't know if I can speak for everybody, but I don't think I'll be playing on PC anytime soon. Do you? I mean, I, I thought um, about it. I do have it on PC, but oh. um, I, yeah, I hardly ever play it on there because I'm always hanging out with you guys on PS4. Yeah. So, um, well, first of all, I am a PC gamer. I have The Sims, <laughs> all four. So, write that Excuse down. Excuse me. And <laughs> <laughs> second of all, um, no, no, but seriously, I could, I mean, I've thought about getting GTA on PC, but I don't know that I would be, I'd want to like, play with anyone. Like, the only reason that I would want GTA on PC would be for the mods. Exactly for my the same reason why so I would want like, I don't care to play it whatsoever on PC. Yeah. Like the the change in controls alone is just like I just can't imagine. But literally the only reason I would play GTA on PC would be for mods. Yeah. And like that's what it. do you mean change in controls? Like using keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know you just can hook up an a Xbox controller. I know you can hook up a con- uh, controller. Use, that's too. what I use. That's cheating. <laughs> that's what I use. That's cheating. Dougie, is, that's cheating. How is that cheating? You because it gives you an advantage. How? Write down in the comments below who's right it's, in this scenario. <laughs> it's no, it's no Please different. Please don't. I'm so stoned. I don't even know what we're arguing about. <laughs> <laughs> it is not cheating. It's Some supported for a reason. Controller, like... If I was doing a first-person shooter, I'd prefer to use a mouse and keyboard. Like yeah. Most of my first-person shooter games that don't I've got play on PC. are on PC. Um, if I don't you're not going to play like you're on PC, period. <laughs> but <laughs> for some games, like for GDA, and there's a couple other games I can't remember at the moment, I got an Xbox controller to use on my computer for those games because... I prefer using controller for those types of games. That's so cheesy. You are so cheesy, Dougie. <laughs> what? Whatever. Jeez. Back <laughs> to the main topic. <laughs> yeah, the, the reason. Anyway, I, the, the reason I would want GTA for for con, uh, for PCs like you, Jess, would just be for the mods uh, to for you know for our photos and editor and stuff like that. Um, like. I would want to make, I would want to I would like to be able to make some sort of short movie machinimas on in the editor, but 
like I, I've done them before on PS4 and everything, and yeah, they've turned out semi okay. Um, but you're just so restricted with what you can and cannot do. Whereas a PC, fucking sky's the limit. Mod the shit out of it, and you can do whatever you want. So that's the only reason I'd want it. Hmm. Yeah, well, PS4 still rules. Uh, yeah, so. it does. PS4 is the um. best all the way. But we you know we all know this. <laughs> Well, I'm out of questions, by the way. <laughs> I have one more, and it's from Shot by Bullets, which I love his account. We're a very good friend. Um, which character in Red Dead 2 do you find the most interesting? Most interesting. I, I feel like. Like, I want to say Sadie, but I feel like it would be too cliche. I feel like that would be most people's answers. I want to say... Fuck, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I've never really... Never really thought about it. Hang on, i got to... Fuck it. I can't remember how to do this, but i got to Google the cast of Red Dead. Hold on. I mean, they were all, like... They were all so complex. Like... They were, like you could tell, like they were all very carefully written. I'm still listening. I'm just looking at. Um... So it's which. I. Which one we think is the most interesting, or not? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm almost I mean, tempted. All got, I'm... Yeah, like you said, they've all got their traits and bits and pieces it's I, I don't know Hosea there we I go almost, that was I his almost fucking go... name Hosea oh, Hosea yeah. really yeah I find him the most interesting hmm. why because his story, like when, like you listened to when he was around the campfire and stuff like that. His story to me just kind of, I don't know, almost not made more sense, but just sound more homey in a way. I guess. I mean, t to me, it did anyway. Um, and not only that, I just loved his character all around because not only was he the almost the sensible guy of the. Out of the whole lot, besides obviously Arthur and you know uh, John and stuff like that, but he was just a figure that I would like to go chat with. I was obviously playing as Arthur and stuff like that. I'd like to hang out with the guy. I was drawn to him more than any of the other ones. I excluded John, obviously, but yeah, mm. I already played as him as the first Red Dead. Red Dead. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why. I kind of want to say Dutch. Okay. I mean, like... Just, like, the way they wrote The Decline... Yeah. In, in 2, like, there were, there were moments, like, little fleeting things of dialogue, like, you know, just, like, background dialogue or something from Dutch, and, like, it would be foreshadowing, but you didn't know that it was foreshadowing at the mm. time. Like, if you go back and play, <laughs> I mean, after finishing it, like, there, there's small little things like that, all scattered throughout, like, that kind of indicate that shit's gonna Ship's go bad. Shit's gonna go down, yeah. Like, I mean, in the first one, we all we only get Dutch the villain. Yeah. Like, the first one, he was just absolutely, like, chaotic evil. Like, we had to kill that motherfucker. Like, mm. he was a piece yeah. of shit. And then the second one, with it going back as a prequel, it's like, you get to see Dutch when he was still kind of good. Like... In the, in the blog that I wrote reviewing Red Dead after it came out last year I, I talked about this in kind of great depth but um, it's just it's just interesting it's very interesting to see that kind of descent because um, 
and like I said, in this one, we still we get to see his good parts, whereas we didn't get that because it's in the first one. Like we see how he became the way he became. Because one thing I suppose you got to remember about these characters as well is, yeah, we see the good in all of them, but you got to remember as well they're still outlaws at the end of the day. Like Dutch is a prime example of that. It's like you want to you want to love the character that like you really, really, really do. But then there are certain points where you're like. I fucking hate this, you know. But you got to remember, obviously, we're seeing the good in a bit that they are villains at the end of the day. But obviously, that's when you see the separation of obviously the whole gang. I mean, it was never the same mm. after Guama. Let's face it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, in in the beginning, like Dutch would have done anything for his yeah. his group, but like as the story progresses, he kind of, like, loses that sense of loyalty mm. over time to where he was kind of loyal, but then again, he was not above backstabbing. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of it. So, I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm very captivated by villains and anti-heroes and things like that and, like, so I'm probably biased, but I, I would have to, I have to go with Dutch on that one. Dougie, what about you? I, I couldn't pick any one in particular, really. Um, never really thought about it and that side of things, but... No, it's not really, it's a good, that's know. why it's a good question, it's because it's not really one that I suppose we've really had time to think about you know we just wanted to play through the story and so on and I suppose everybody's automatic answer would be Arthur or John wouldn't it but yeah I, I think most people yeah. yeah see John for me yeah wasn't that exciting um it's 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 John Marston it's yeah sort of granted is what we knew to start with um even though we're seeing what he was like to start with as well, um, before he became what he was in the, the first game. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, they've all got their... Own, such a unique personality traits that, for me, it's hard to sort of narrow it down to one person mm. um, so I like I, I love the I mean everybody loved Arthur it's yeah, yeah he's like yes he's a rough tough gunslinger but he's his undevoted loyalty to the group was just yeah awesome I loved really love that part about him it's like he was always for the group yeah and uh, yeah I don't know it's I, I can't pick one well I'm just gonna say something and we might lose listeners over this <laughs> but <laughs> just keep your mouth shut even though keep your mouth shut <laughs> Even though I loved him <laughs> a lot, and you know, like I have that attachment, I just feel like, in comparison to other characters, John had very bland personality. Like, I was just not taken with him, like I was with Arthur. Like, I feel like, I feel like he was a little boring. He. He was a bit of a dick. I mean, he was a great... Like, I mean, he was a great guy. Like, you know, like you said, Dougie, he was, like, 100% loyal. Like, for an outlaw... An outlaw? <laughs> Why did my voice be For an outlaw? outlaw. He, <laughs> he was a gooder guy. But, yeah, he just didn't do it for me. Yeah. So we just lost all two of our followers, yep. probably. That's it. <laughs> Season two, just I scrap it, shred, shred the script. That's it, it's all yeah. done with. Fuck it. 
<laughs> I just feel like they they wrote Arthur more meticulously than they wrote John. But oh, for I mean, sure. look at the time in between. Like, I'm. I mean, who knows what they thought was going to happen when one came out? Did they think it was going to be a success? Did they not? I don't know. But like, I feel like Arthur was definitely more well written. Yeah. Anyway. Well, it kind of had to be because that was who we played, but. <laughs> It was. I definitely preferred Arthur compared to. Yeah. John. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Arthur was fucking hot, bro. <laughs> Roger Clark, you listening? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. This is the season finale. I don't care anymore. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, do we have any additional thoughts? Would like to contribute to this? No, I got, I got nothing on that one. Okay, well, I am fresh out of questions, Same. so, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and move on to our last. Ryan goes back to school of the season. Right. <laughs> so, for anyone listening, any new listeners, which I've said it twice and I'll say it again, if you're a new listener, why are you starting on episode twelve? Whatever. Go back to the um, beginning. I'll be giving. <laughs> <laughs> I will be giving Ryan a random word of my choosing and he has to define it and use it correctly in a sentence. So because it's the season finale, I decided to throw it back a little bit. Oh, it's and not so hard. For those of you listening, for those of you listening, if you've been following our bullshit for a while, like way longer than the podcast has been going on, then hopefully you'll get the reference. Ryan, your word today is misconstrued. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, Jess. Oh, no. What? <laughs> I'll give a little backstory here. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what we were talking about one night. Ryan... Ryan got all bent out of shape, and he was like, oh, no, no, don't get this misconstrued. And kind of like, we were just like, what the fuck? What did you just say? <laughs> Sam thought you said Mr. Strudel. <laughs> I was so confident. We were playing Dead by Daylight, and I, I think I mispronounced something, and you all thought I had said something that was gonna make me sound stupid or whatever so I said Donna I know what we were talking about what I remember exactly what we were talking about because I for some reason I've just had the, the greatest photographic memory ever and I remember editing that clip we were talking about I said something like I think that everyone is at least kind of a little gay mm -hmm. and I started like naming people in the group, and you were one of them. Obviously, people would assume me. And you're like, no, 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 don't get this misconstrued. That was it, yeah. Um... And we were like, and then you cocky little asshole, yep. like everyone starts making fun of you, and you're literally like, yep. Uh. It's in the dictionary, people. Look it yep, up. I was so <laughs> fucking confident that I'd got the word right. I would demanded everybody to read the dictionary when it was I that should have read the fucking dictionary. Yeah, it's not misconstrued. It's misconstrued. It's so hard for me to say it normal now. The group chat was named misconstrued, misconstrued for months after that. <laughs> It's so hard for me. like the the actual correct pronunciation sounds bizarre. To it me is misconstrued, point. isn't it? That is the correct correct yeah. correct pronunciation. Yeah, yes. misconstrued. Whereas I was misconstrued. Did um, I remember talking to my folks after that as well? That instant, and even they said, "The fuck are you on?" Like, no, it's not. <laughs> like I said, no, I was right, wasn't I? I said, no, like we get what you're trying to say, but you're using it in you're using the wrong word in the wrong context. I was like. Oh wow! <laughs> like you're putting a past tense on an already past tense yeah, word. Hard to believe I'm twenty fucking three years old. <laughs> um, so misconstrued is getting things um, 
like getting information wrong as to what it actually should be having the yeah think getting the wrong information basically am i right in that or getting the information twisted or back yeah, to front getting, getting shit fucked yeah, up yeah yeah um so for example i'm trying to think of a sentence i oh. misconstrued the word misconstrued <laughs> 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 Damn it! I gotta put a rule in for next season. You can't use the word you're defining in the definition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but finished. how often is that? Would it say, work? Yeah. <laughs> true. True. Some of the other words I wouldn't be able. To. Well, Ryan, I am, I am just over the moon to announce that. I have no idea what your score is. Sorry, um, I don't know if you won or lost. I think I, I forgot when we started, but I think <laughs> I'll be honest. I think I am one up um, <laughs> from. I, I think I won two and I lost two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd won two and I'd lost two because we said the last episode we do will be the sudden death. So yeah, I remember now. I'll, we'll have to go back and listen to them all, but to I'm check pretty my sure. Notes on that. But either way, I'm I'm happy now that I actually got one correct. <laughs> Yes, the tiny little applause for yourself is very nice. <laughs> Golf clip. <laughs> well, this episode is a bit of a milestone. This is the longest it we've is recorded a, so a, far. An hour and twenty-six. An hour and a half. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have fun with this one. So, <laughs> well. Are, any closing thoughts from either of you? No. Wow. <laughs> be quieter, I guess. I just wanted to be silent in that situation. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been interesting and fun. Yeah. Okay, well, interesting and fun. Closing thoughts for you all. No, I, 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 I... However many months until the next season for me. I look forward to getting all the feedback, uh, reading the two comments that will be left below, um, and <laughs> seeing where season two <laughs> takes us and what we change and what we, and what we don't, you know, kind of play it by ear, I guess. Um, but it's been, it's been great. And I've loved every minute of it, despite the fact that I've either been knackered, drunk, or both. <laughs> <laughs> Cheering the shows. That's the only way to do it. I know, right? Oh, yeah. And if you if you guys listening, if you have any ideas for any on air mm. games that we could play in future seasons, please, please put them forward. Let us know. Because yeah. yes, we are we are always welcoming of new ideas in that yeah. aspect. Um, it'll be interesting. It can be see. as stupid as you want it to be, because honestly, that's pretty much the definition of us. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I look forward to seeing what kind of response we yeah. get on that. Hopefully, we get some yeah. good ones. Well, that concludes our episode today, as well as our first ever Woo. season of Jarred. Um, we've had so much fun recording these shows for you all and it's helped us get to know each other a little bit better um as well as learn how to work on projects together it was kind of this this was definitely a test of how well we can do the work together yeah like an actual project not just like getting together and gaming so i think it was a success Yeah. yeah For the most part. So, um, well, we are so thankful to our listeners um, for letting us get away with so much <laughs> so far. <laughs> sure. I don't think they had um, much choice in the matter. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we're still kind of we're still spitballing for season mm-hmm. two as of right now, but um, be sure to keep an eye on our Instagram accounts for any podcast updates to come um so thank you for joining us this season and a special thanks um to our jarred cast members um dougie and ryan and we miss you bex yes we hope you, do we hope well you kicked ass <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check out each of our Instagram pages for the most recent Rockstar Games content. And don't forget, Ryan's Sunday Funday compilations will continue to be uploaded on YouTube and Instagram every Sunday. And my Wacky Wednesday compilations will also be uploaded every Wednesday on YouTube and Instagram. And our YouTube links are in our Instagram bios. Thanks for listening and have a great week. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Not a lot of people in the community know that you're like big into hockey. Like, yeah. You always, you always have been pretty much. So like, I think I'm just going to ask something that pretty much everyone would want to know after hearing this. Are you missing any teeth? No, I'm not. I haven't missed one tooth from hockey. No. Hey, Instagram, you're awesome. I just have this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Why is she licking her ass? Oh no, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna. Oh my god. That was like a fucking torpedo. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you about what to What is this offer? everybody trying to hook me up with their mums? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't dating, we fucking. You're playing fucking ping pong with your own balls. All British love bangers and mesh. Oh my god, isn't that like a penis and balls? No. <laughs> Smash potato and sausages. <laughs> oh my You've never heard of that term, Jess. That's the problem, like... Why are we talking about my feet? Today, it's just me, the baddest bitch alive, and... <laughs> Sir Bones a lot, which sounded a lot better in my head. More like a roast, but it actually just sounds like a compliment for Ryan. <laughs> Whatever, bony boy.